Welcome once again. We're at 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 50 through 58. The resurrection at the last day. Paul writes, Now I say this, brothers, that flesh and blood cannot inherit God's kingdom. Neither does the perishable inherit imperishable. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep. This is a very, very interesting thing that Paul says here. This is another piece of evidence that not everything that Paul says here is actually right. Because, you see, he believed that he would be alive when Jesus came back to the earth. Paul said, we will not all sleep. In other words, we will not all die. Jesus will come back before we die. He said, we. He didn't say, they, in some future generation, they will not all sleep. He said, we. He's talking about himself. He did not believe that he would die before Jesus came back. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we will be changed. Here we go again. We, Paul, was convinced he would be alive at the time of the rapture. He said, we will not all sleep. We won't die. We will be changed. We will be raptured right on the spot when Jesus shows up. For this perishable body must become imperishable, and this mortal must put on immortality. But when this perishable body will have become imperishable, and this mortal will have put on immortality, then what is written will happen. Death is swallowed up in victory. Isaiah chapter 25, verse 8. Death, where is your sting? Hell or Hades, where is your victory? Hosea Chapter 13, verse 14. The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But, here we go, thanks be to God who gives us the victory. Victory of what? Victory over the power of sin. So that you don't sin, as Paul just said just earlier this chapter. He said, don't sin. Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the Lord's work, because you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Seek God with all your heart, and if you do, you will find him. Call upon him, and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.